Hi friends! The twist is the measure of spiral rotation of the yarn in order to keep the fibers together. In the yarn, the twist keeps the fibers together to form the yarn. The twist can be turned towards the left or the right. Afterwards, the yarn becomes a semi-product and its twist may need to be measured. But for the yarn size, it is not possible to make a true measurement about the twist amount by help of on-off method since the surface fibers of such a yarn usually stick to each other. Instead of this, we will use the break-off method. Performing this experiment requires that one acknowledges that a twisted yarn becomes shorter when twisted more. Also, after a while, it breaks off. If the yarn has been reversely twisted, it may break off in the same amount of an extra twist. At the moment, we'll be performing a twist test for the yarn size on the twist measuring device. First of all, the distance between the two nippers of the device is set to be 500 millimeters. Then, the yarn is properly placed into the nipper while preventing the loss of its twist. Then, the tensioner weight according to the number of the yarn is put in according to the table. The pointer is removed in order to set it to zero. Then, extra yarn is taken out. Here, we fix the pointer. Until the yarn breaks off, we continue testing the yarn by resetting the counter in the same direction with the twist. And then our result on the counter, T1, is noted. The test process is carried on with a new yarn. Again, the yarn is properly placed on the nippers while preventing the twist loss. Again, the tensioner weight according to the yarn number is put in. The pointer is set to zero and the extra part of the yarn is taken out. The test this time is performed by turning the lever in the opposite direction to the yarn's twist. The task is carried out until the yarn breaks off. After the yarn has broken off, T2 value is obtained so that we can put it into the relevant formula to calculate the twist value in terms of turns to meters. Thank you.